In this video we're going to learn how to save and export files. So I have this file here and I want to um, save it. So I, I go up to file and of course I can just click save or save as and uh, I can save it as an Adobe Illustrator file and, and that will allow me to continue to edit in the future in the same way that I have been working with it. I can also save it as a PDF and you might find that if I do save it as a PDF, uh, it will have all these things, I just pick the default. So save it, and if I open that file, you will see that I can continue to edit it, because it's a PDF. Uh, so it has the same sort of um, ability to edit as an Adobe Illustrator file, but of course I would recommend saving it as Adobe Illustrator file. But I can also save it as, um, you know, other formats, but I, I don't really you know, mess with those. Um, the other thing I can do is I can export this file. Exporting it would be like exporting as an image, for instance. Uh, might be easier to, um, you know, to attach it onto an email so that people can see it quickly. Um, a lot of people don't have Adobe Illustrator, so... Uh, that wouldn't be as easy. Of course, you can send it as a PDF, and most people have a PDF viewer. But, you know, um, Im viewing images is typically a little bit easier. So I can export as. So just to see what I did, I went to File, click on Export, and Export As. And here I can export it by clicking this down arrow. I can click, I can select several different options. Um, there's JPEG, uh, PNG, I actually prefer PNG, uh, I think it has less artifacts than uh, JPEG. Um, TIFF is also good, a lot of uh, publications prefer TIFF, it's less compressed. Um, but uh, BMP is kind of the old, kind of really old fashioned format, uh, it's uh, power, or, um, uh, uh, Microsoft Paint would sell, save it as a, a bitmap, um, but uh, I, I would stick with uh, either PNG or TIFF. Um, I would steer, steer away from uh, JPEG because I, I've found that it, it generates a lot of artifacts. Um, but the, I'm sure you can mess with the settings so that um, it produces less artifacts. But let's just click on PNG, export, and and you get these options here uh, for PNG. You can uh, export it as uh, screen resolution, which I actually kind of recommend um, for most cases. Like if you're, what I would recommend is setting the original file to be the pixel size of maybe a PowerPoint slide if that's what you're going for, and then save it as a screen um, resolution. That way you can copy it uh, you can import it right into PowerPoint. It'll be exactly the same size as the PowerPoint slide. So I would click screen here. However, if you're doing um, things for publications, a lot of times they want the highest resolution. And so you'd click high, you know, 300 points per square inch. Um, typically, if I'm, you know, embedding it in a Microsoft PowerPoint, or sorry, a Microsoft Word document for, you know, preparing a manuscript, you know, I might recommend 150 PPI because it's kind of a balance between the two. 72 um, PPI, a lot of times it might get blurry whenever you're creating figures for you know, a Word document. Um, but 150, 150 P, uh, PPI is usually a really good resolution, so I'm going to click OK. Sorry, that was probably a little longer explanation than necessary. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to go to the um, file where I saved it as. If I can find it. And let's see, structures. There. Right here. So it's, if I click on this, you can see it's pretty good. Pretty good resolution. Um, 
at least you know I can't see any um, artifacts or any um, blurriness. I'm sure if I zoomed in, I would be able to. But that's how you um, save a file as a PDF or as a Adobe Illustrator or uh, export it as a um, portable network graphic PNG or um, maybe TIFF or any sort of image file that you can embed in an email. Thank you.